Hey everybody, thank you so much for tuning in to another video. It is wash day and I'm going to be using new products today from a brand new brand. If you're new, you've never clicked on here before, thank you so much for coming by and for clicking on. I hope you will find something here that will be helpful to you on your natural hair journey and I am so excited to introduce to some and present to others Earthborn Organics. I have already shampooed and uh, conditioned my hair. Here is the Aloe Curl Cleanser that I use. I showed you guys this in the unboxing of this brand when I did it. This is so unique. This Aloe Curl, look at it. It looks just like Aloe Vera. Look at that. And you know how moisturizing and hydrating and slippy Aloe Vera is. Can you imagine what this was like? This may have just become a holy grail. This is so good, so, so good. Doesn't it just look good as a shampoo? You can see the aloe vera in there. How many times does somebody tell you that um, an ingredient is in a product and you can actually see it? This was magnificent. So I am getting ready to use the deep conditioner. It is called Cocoa Butter Deep Conditioner. I'm gonna go on off and separate my hair. I'm really, really trying to figure out how to make these videos a little shorter, you guys. Like, they are absolutely too long. So if I skip a lot of details um, during the video now, please know that you'll get them at the end. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about them so that I'm not repeating myself and I'm not going on and on between uh, wash day processes. So I will do all of that at the end. So I'm gonna go off and section this. I will be back and we will resume. Okay, I am a deep conditioning now, and I am gonna add this in the front for you so that I can at least give you a shot of this conditioner because it is so good. Look how thick this is. It smells so delightful. It's one of those that grabs your attention. My hair look crazy. Uh, grabs your attention like the second you open the container, like the aroma just fills the room. Just this nice, fresh fragrance that I love. You know that I love that. I don't like all the different kinds of um, loud things. Just something just enough to mix all those ingredients together to make them smell nice and fresh and soft and clean. And look how thick this is. Ooh, honey. This is some thick, thick stuff. So depending how you apply your conditioner depending on how much hair you have you can get this to either spread you can add more water to your hair to get it to um, spread on but you know I really go for mine <laughs> I go for some deep conditioner I want to make sure every single strand of my hair is covered from root all the way to the tip it smooths on so beautifully, so beautifully. I need to read a little bit more about cocoa butter. And when I do, I will put some of those things in the video because I am curious to know how it's different from shea butter. But if this is cocoa butter that I'm feeling, I am liking this already. You know this area of my hair is extremely low porosity and hardly ever do I see uh, deep conditioner penetrate in there. It usually just sits on top until I put some heat in it. And so there is some of this on top, but whenever I see um, places where it has absorbed in really well, like in the back, I know that it is a deep conditioner that will probably soak into your hair, but mine is so low porosity that um, it needs a little heat. And we'll look at it after, um, well actually I'll look at it and then I'll tell you what it's like after I take off the heating cap. So what I just did was the stimulating growth oil. So this is an oil that has grapeseed, uh, apricot kernel oil, castor oil, argan, jojoba, vitamin E, and fragrance. And I broke my top. I dropped it and the top came off. So I've got this big hole at the top and until I can find another applicator, I'm just having to pour it out. And so what I did was um, take that oil and just put it on the ends of my hair from like 
last few inches down sort of like we would do all the time when you're doing a little extra for your ends I have really found that to keep those ends nice and moisturized and that is a very very good habit to come uh, to start with your uh, hair during these cold winter months for all those snags and knots and dry ends if you can get some moisture into them and get them nice and uh, lubricated that will keep it from breaking off so much so do that I think we should make it a habit and um, start doing it I recently just started doing it myself and I love the fact that I feel like my hair is a uh, the ends are a little bit more lubricated and a little bit more sealed in so that I can try to retain that moisture throughout the week so that is the deep conditioner I'm gonna go rinse it out and then decide what products to use after that I've got three different stylers and so I'm so excited about it. I don't know which one to use or should I do both and compare it we'll see we'll see I'll see you guys in the next clip hey I just finished rinsing out the deep conditioner that was absolutely delightful it rinsed so clean I wish you could feel my hair oh that coconut butter made it so moisturizing I love 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 it I love the way my hair felt I love the way I was able to detangle as I ran that brush through it superior superior love how great and thick it was how it coated my strands and how my hair is now so freaking soft it's so soft and now I'm gonna put in my leave-in conditioner but I have no idea what I am going to use you guys look how many products I've got here I've got the Kukui hydration cream. I always mess that up. So <laughs> I have to concentrate. This is the Kukui hydration cream, which has cocoa butter and shea butter in it, along with some other great um, oils and conditioners. I have the Mafuro Styling Custard, which makes me think this is going to have a little bit more hold. It also has shea butter, but it has Mafuro butter and rice bran oil which i love uh guar gum which means it's gonna have just a tad bit of hold and also there was something else i was debating about maybe it's just those two also it comes with a moisture it comes with there are options for moisturizing hair and body butter which is so nice and thick this is loaded with butters shea cocoa kokum mango and kapuasu butter like this is moisturizing heaven here so I'm trying to decide about that love that it is also a body cream as well oh okay let me decide what I'm gonna use I don't want to open anything I'm not gonna use and they also offer a cream styling gel so if you have hair that you typically add a gel onto on top of products or if you have the kind of hair where you can use just a leave-in and a gel, this is also an option. That sounds so good. So, so I'm going to put the uh, website down in the description box. Do go and check out these ingredients. I don't think I've seen this many butters and nice oils in a product in a long time. Long time. So before my hair dries, I'm going to go ahead and do the leave-in. These are the sections I washed it in. I'm just going to apply the leave-in in those sections as well. This is water and aloe juice. It has aloe vera butter. So no shea butter or one of those thicker butters. It is aloe vera butter. These, first of all, I, I forgot all about the fact that I didn't say anything about these freaking gorgeous labels. Love that. Earthborn, I don't know how she came up with the name, but I love the nice earthy colors corresponds so well with the brand name love that so this is what the conditioner looks like soft very soft and creamy not just creamy but feels very soft and creamy and so this is the benefit it feels so good it feels so good it feels nice and lightweight so if you don't have thicker coarser hair then you can use this as well. I'm gonna add a little bit more to my ends. My leave-in is where I really, really, really want to um, 
make sure my hair is nice and hydrated so I typically overdo it a little bit with leave-ins you don't have to use this much kind of be your own guide but just kind of as a tip if you are finding that your hair is not moisturized and staying moisturized longer this is just one of those things you can troubleshoot maybe use a thicker leave-in or use more leave-in this feels really really nice it has slip in it as well my hair is curling up and loving it and so am I so I'm I going to take all of the sections and I'm gonna do them like this put my plastic cap back on and let this sit down in my hair and actually I think since everybody loved that braid out last week that I will do that again I really enjoy that I like having the hair out of my face and I love the look of the braid out and so now that I feel like I've gotten a little bit better at that and because it's getting cool it's gonna take just as long to dry now unless I sit under the dryer I may as well just try that so I'm gonna let you guys go I'm not gonna keep you and I will see you back in some of these next steps <laughs> Hey everybody, so I am back and as you can see I have a braided, taken down and styled this braid out with the Earthborn products and if you can look and see what I see, then you know I am a happy lady. You guys, do you see this shine? Like am I tripping? Is it just in reality? Is this coming through on camera? Girl. Oh my gosh, this shine is unreal. My hair is coarse, so it is naturally dull. But goodness, this held up well. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the products while you look and then be gathering any questions that you wanna ask. And I will be prepared to answer those down in the comment section when you put them down there. But I don't need to tell you how I'm loving this. I really don't. The frizz gives it just enough um, volume to look nice and realistic but there's enough definition that it will last over the course of some days and I am loving it I can't remember the last time my hair has been this nice and shiny it feels great nice and soft not weighed down at all the products are super duper concentrated and I only used a little bit okay let's talk about this so, so I told this is like straight aloe vera this stuff is so so good so good I love that it's so aloe vera ish and so it provides so much moisture and slip and I don't know if you can see the little bubbles that are in it like it looks like 100% aloe vera but it does have glycerin in it and it has uh, cocoa betine which is the cleanser and I told you the other stuff and you'll be able to see all of this on the website this is how much I use you know I'm heavy-handed don't think that you will go through this um, as fast as I did and plus I got quite a bit of hair so love the cleanser and then I deep condition with the coconut butter deep conditioner and this is well so moisturizing and so so slippy I'm gonna show it to you now now that I can I cannot believe how thick this stuff was look at this it's like a very thick smooth butter um show you look at that it almost has the consistency of a thick styler so 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 thick so it coated the hair very very well yes I'm putting it back in this container it coated the hair so very well and yet again my heavy-handedness I still have got tons left this will take me like lots and lots of more uses like I can't even estimate it doesn't even because it was so full that's the first thing I used it and it's, it's like right here and you y'all have seen me put on deep conditioner you know I I don't play when it comes down to deep conditioner so this is an excellent excellent value all of these are are an excellent value so I love this stuff I love how smooth and thick it is it just it's not lumpy it doesn't have those little fine lines it it, it just looks like straight soft butter but nice and thick that was very very good so I use the leave-in conditioner 
and the leave-in conditioner has aloe vera butter remember me saying that and how unique that was it has aloe vera juice and aloe vera butter this has water and aloe vera in it the leave-in show you all of it now the leave-in is also it's not as thick as the deep conditioner but still very very nice and thick if you are a leave-in person you will like this you see that creaminess it just looks like that kind that you know it's going to be nice and moisturizing for the hair look at that nice nice coating these products go a really long way look how that spread it I love this this was very very moisturizing softened my hair it was enough leave-in on its own sometimes when I look at leave-in and I put them on my hair I think is this going to be enough because this the leave-in is where your moisture comes from I continue to say you want to really pack in your leave-in on wash day don't go sparingly go all in and you can tell when it's had enough you want every strand coated even down to your roots and make sure that it feels nice and softened. And this is one of those you can feel where the product was on and where it wasn't because this made it just so super duper softening. And this is also one you can use as a refresher, as a um, moisturizer just during the week if you need a little bit more moisture. Like this is fantastic. I actually believe that a lot of people could use this as a styler. It is that sort of um, leave-in moisturizing uh, consistency not too thin but definitely not too heavy so if you are a person with finer hair and you want to try this you could actually style with this look at that not even moving very good so when I split my hair down the middle my intent was I said to myself okay I've got a lot of products here I'm anxious to try I could not decide so what I was gonna do was use the custard on one side and the butter on the other side once I opened the hydration cream I found that it wasn't as thick as I thought it was so look at this very very whipped and lightweight and so look at that it almost looks like the leave-in was slightly thicker than this so I thought okay I don't know if I want this to be a um, styler because I was just so scared that it wasn't gonna come out right so I added a little bit of this onto my hair first and then I started doing one side with the um, custard the referral styling custard and so I started doing one side with this and I was just in the groove watching TV talking and before I knew it I had done both sides both sides with the custard so I didn't get a chance to try the um, hair and body butter at all and I was just all done when I realized oh my gosh I have got to start focusing on what I'm doing and stop trying to do 20 things at once so I added just a little bit of this just so I could see what it was like I mean literally just a little bit because the leave-in was definitely enough but if you are a person with coarse hair and you're just a little bit scared this can always be used as a leave-in or you can add it on top and it's so nice and creamy you're not gonna have a problem so then let me show you the styling custard the styling custard too look reminded me of the hydration creams um, consistency like it's just look at that oh don't spill on me so just as nice and softening and so I really had to kind of now that was the one thing I did pay attention to be careful when I was putting on to make sure that I didn't mix them up because they were so similar but then I realized I could see a distinct difference in it in the light and I don't know if you can but the hydration cream is thicker as you can see the styling custard is a little bit uh, movable so it will spill if I turn it down too long and the cream is really really smooth really smooth looking and the custard you can tell has ingredients in it that gives it a little bit of tact like just enough to um, hold it down but now this baby has moisture too if you wanted to use just this by itself on top of a leave-in absolutely you could do it and also the um, 
hydration cream I think if you wanted to you could use as a styler like there are so many things to choose from in this line and I did add a couple of drops of this growth oil on top of my hair and also down into my scalp I've got to get a new uh, applicator bottle I borrowed one off of another oil that drove me crazy I love my applicator uh, little spouts so this was very good and I want to think I always think that a couple of drops of oil add that extra little shine to your hair. Not only is it helping sealing it all in because all of these stylers that I use started with water. So they're all water based and I want to be sure, and I'm always preaching this, pack your moisture in on wash day and honey did I pack it in. So the leave-in, the hydration cream all over, and then I use the um, custard and a couple of drops of oil. Every one of these products has butters in it and the kind of oils that really moisturize your hair and give it some shine. So I really wanna believe if I had never used this oil, I still would have gotten that shine because I used so little. I just can't believe that it was enough to really make that big of a difference. But it has been up for, has it been two days, three days? I can't even remember, maybe two. That's about like me. That's usually as patient as I can be. So I'm gonna say it was up for two days. And here is how all of it came out. I love, love, love the definition it gave. I love how lightweight it is. I love that it is gonna have tons of longevity. I love how moisturized it is. I love how soft it is. And I don't come away with any, any, now I just got through playing the products. That would, that's what this is. But when I touch my hair, I don't come away with any extra uh, residue on my fingers. This is all of that went in, like all of the products soaked into my hair. And so this will give a nice week's worth of hair for sure. By the time you get through wearing out the, um, braids or twist or whatever you do you could pin this up some of it up some of it down I don't know put braids on one side or twist one side so many different styles you can do with this and still have so much definition left that is so curly and so cute so I love this I'm so so glad that I love this like I do because now I can really go out and use some of the other things and I'm feel comfortable using I know how they're gonna perform I did not get a chance to use the cream styling gel which I'm not gonna open but it has water shea butter av avocado oil flax seeds marshmallow root Behendromonium, satiro alcohol. So this too is gonna have a little bit of tack emulsifying wax and guar gum. So if you are a person that like wash and goes, I think this is gonna be what you want, the cream styling gel. This this definitely sounds like a one and done product. And I did not try the butter, which I absolutely wanted to. I just can't believe it. So maybe I'll just go ahead and use this on my body. We'll see how this works. But what I like about this is, is that it's so lightweight. It feels like nothing's in there. For it to have so many butters, I'm opening this, you guys. So this is packed to the top. It feels like nothing is in this container. It doesn't feel like anything is in here. It is so lightweight. And yet, it looks so thick. I'm gonna take some. Oh yeah, this is butter, butter, baby. So it's a nice medium firm butter. So yes, this is a perfect kind for your skin in the winter time. It's the perfect kind for your hair in the winter time. I really wanted to try this. I know this is gonna be so good. I cannot believe they packed one, two, three, four, five butters in this. And olive oil, grape seed, sunflower oil, sweet almond oil, and jojoba oil, all of those provide so much moisture and so much shine. I'm gonna find a dry spot you guys i gotta i gotta test this at least on here so let's see what this looks like how it does a little bit goes a long way oh baby yes oh yes 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 oh it looks so soft and supple it feels so silky and smooth Look at that moisture. 
and that is on dry skin. I always say you still get better results when you put your lotions and butters on um, damp skin. And how this can be used as a deep conditioner, used to deep condition, detangle as a pre-poo or even a leave-in. I'm gonna try one of them. I'm gonna try it because I'm just curious to see how this would work. It's so thick, but it feels amazing. And I know that that, imagine this on your hair and a couple of Oh, honey. See, I keep forgetting to talk about smells. Oh my gosh, this is wonderful. I don't know. You know, I'm terrible at <laughs> telling you smells. It's like a soft, candy smell like I don't I have no idea very very pretty very nice and subtle and definitely a woman's um <laughs> product <laughs> definitely a woman's product very feminine and very gorgeous so love this so you guys that is everything right I want to be sure I include everything in here because you know I'm good for leaving out stuff there is tons of items here for you to choose from. Something for everybody. I highly encourage you to go over and try some. Be sure to try this. I don't care how many of these companies I run into, I still don't find two that are exactly alike. Even if they have the same ingredients, there's different amounts in it, and sometimes they're in different orders, and that's just enough to make a difference. So let me know what you think of the hair. And then that will tell you everything you need to know about the products. If you have hair that is similar to mine, then you get an idea. If you don't, then you can still use these products. You just need just a tiny, tiny bit. You'll have it forever. Oh, and also they have sample sizes now on the website. Well, not sample sizes, but mini sizes, more like it. So these are all eight ounce products and I looked and they have four ounce products. So if you wanna try it and not commit to getting an entire eight ounce container and not having it forever or being scared you're gonna run out of it before you use it up, you can try the mini sizes. And then that way they give you a chance to test it out to see and also to be able to support her at the same time and get a chance to use the products and so that you can use them up. Because they're natural, you're gonna find all kinds of ways to use this. So you guys, I'm gonna go. You see how I feel. I, I love these. I love everything about it. I can't think of anything I would say differently. It's even giving my hair a little hang time. Maybe that was the um, benefit of using products where I weighed it down so well. Getting a little hang time, Martha. These are earrings. Don't mistake this for hair. <laughs> but nevertheless, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you supporting my channel as I try to support other vendors and companies. And I just love being the bridge between the consumer and the producer and in a way where everybody can get what they want. It's a win-win. And then we all come away with a wonderful, healthy hair. Now, I have been using a lot of products lately that have been Ayurvedic based. And I'm telling you, if you like Ayurvedic products, what I have found is using them every week is just not a good thing. It's not a good thing. You got to think of it like a protein. If every uh, product has those ingredients in it and then you are sealing it into your hair and then the next week you do another one you're gonna find your hair is gonna start to get stiff that is kind of where I was so I was very very excited now to have a product that was from new a new product that I could support that doesn't have those because this is a great great moisturizing set to put in between the um, Ayurvedic hair care just using too much of it definitely is going to give your hair some stiffness and if it gets too firm too strengthened that will cause it to break you know that so you need to take a break every now and then and try something that's just pure unadulterated moisture heavenly plant-based goodness and that's what these are if you have any questions at all you know to drop them down below and i will put the um discount code in the description box and also here in the video so that when you go to the website you can save you some money like some real money this is not just 10 percent. you're getting 20 percent off your purchases and so be sure to follow her on instagram let her know i sent you you guys be sure to support her and i can't wait to hear what all you're gonna get i cannot wait and i can't wait to hear what you think of this hair 
that if I don't stop playing in, it won't have any curls. I will see you guys later. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. Bye.